blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure intervillain routing using router on a stick r o a s router on a stick okay so there's always two ways of configuring uh, intervillain routing one of them is router on a stick where we use a router and the other way is using switch virtual interface of which we use a layer 3 switch okay all right so i'll open uh, my google spreadsheet i'll let you know that today we are in number four under routing technologies right so without any further ado um i'll open our notepad to highlight steps that we're going to follow to achieve this objective so why would we need to configure our uh, intervillain routing you can remember clearly that when we are doing VLANs, devices in same VLANs will communicate, but devices in different VLANs, by default, they will never communicate. Why? Because they belong to different broadcast domain. And what can make uh, devices in different broadcast domain to communicate is either router uh, or inter implementing inter-VLAN routing. Okay? All right. So um, let's start. Number one, draw the necessary topology, decorate and comment. I've done that, and as you can see, I've used 2911 router, and you can see uh, gig 00 is, connect, is connecting to FA01 on the switch. Then from FA1 to FA3 is VLAN 10, and uh, FA4 and FA5 is VLAN 20, FA6 and FA7 is VLAN 30, and the respective networks. Okay. All right, so if we proceed further uh, to number two, configure VLANs and assign VLAN IDs to the switch ports as per the respective VLAN. So we're going to configure VLANs on this switch and assign these ports VLAN numbers, okay? All right, so let's say we're going to configure how many VLANs? Three VLANs, 10, 20, and 30, and probably you name them. So let's go here, come to CLI and uh, enable uh, config T, and let's say VLAN, VLAN 10, VLAN 10, name to be IT, uh, then we go to VLAN 20, VLAN 20, name to be uh, HR, uh, VLAN 30, name to be Finance, okay, name to be Fin, okay, all right, so we've done creating VLANs, so what we're going to do is to assign ports VLAN numbers. So, for example, if you check on this diagram here, you can see that from FA2 to FA3 points directly to VLAN 10, FA4 and FA5 VLAN 20, 6 and 7 VLAN 30. Okay, so I'm going to do very, very fast to do that. So, you just let's assign them um, VLAN numbers interface range FA0 slash 2 to 3. Switch port mode, let's make it up access first. Switch port mode access. Then switch port access VLAN 10. Good. Then we go to the second range of VLAN 20, which is FA4 and FA5. So uh, interface range 4 to 5. Switch port mode access. Uh, access. Then switch port access VLAN 20. And finally, we go to the last range, which is from 6 to 7. 6 to 7, uh, switch port mode access, then switch port access VLAN 30, exit, and do right. So we have done with the second step, how to configure VLANs and assign them to switch ports, okay? All right, so uh, if you proceed further, we need to configure trunk on the link connecting the router. Guys, as you can as you can remember, um, access port is only allowed to access one VLAN at a time. So, for us to allow all of these VLANs to go to the router, then this port here, which is FA0-1 on the switch, must be a trunk port, okay? Okay, right. So, interface, uh, FA0-1, switch port mode, mode, trunk, and you hit enter, exit, and do right. So we done that. This one is trunk because it will be it will be passing multiple VLANs to the the route. Okay, all right. Um, 
happen. So, so let's proceed. Number four, configure IP addresses to the computers. Uh, configure IP address to the computers as per the subnet. Configure default gateway in advance. Use the first IP. Okay. So we're going to configure these computers. For example, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Using this network, this one, and this one. And we've been told to configure default gateway in advance. Okay. So and uh, the default gateway should be the first IP address. So for example, the default gateway here should be 1.1, 2.2, 2.1, 3.1. Okay. All right. So let's start. So I come to this PC. Come to our desktop IP configuration 192.168.1. Let's start from 5. And I copy that. I paste there. And, uh, and that's dot one. Okay. Default gateway to take the first IP address. So I'll do the I'll do the following. The rest very very fast to save time. Okay, so we've done configuring a PRS to the computers and assigning default gateway. So let's proceed further. Um, so number five says that we try to ping hosts in different VLANs. Okay, this should never work. So for example, let's uh, ping, uh, this one is 3.6. I'll try to ping 3.6. Um, ping, I paste that. I went 3.5. It should never ping because they're in different VLANs and there's no mechanism to uh, to assist them on how to communicate with each other. So this is why we need to implement inter VLAN routing and this is the, uh, the main discussion of today's class. So guys without any further ado, uh, let's begin configura configuring route on a stick. R O A S interval routing using route on a stick okay so number six says configure sub interfaces on the router configure sub interfaces on the router and and bind each sub interface to its vlan assign ip address of the subnet okay good so we are going to configure sub interfaces route on a stick sub interface we're going to configure sub interface first we have to know that which interface is connecting to the switch it is gig 00 so we are going to configure sub interfaces for example gig 00.10 for vlan 10 gig 00.20 for vlan 20 gig 00.30 for vlan 30 and we bind each vlan to each sub interface and we assign ip address to each sub interface and that ip address that we assign to each sub interface is the default gateway that we we were doing here we did here and also we did in this case so without any further ado let's begin now so uh the first thing we do just say no neighbor config t you can see this interface is down let's turn it up so just say interface gig zero slash zero no shut now it's up right so let's begin the configuration part so we create sub interfaces first we survey which interface of the router is connecting to our switch it's gig 00 so we are using gig 00 to create sub interfaces so gig 00.10 for vlan 10 okay and we hit enter then we bind it to vlan 10 let's bind it how do we bind it we just say encapsulation dot one q 10 vlan number encapsulation dot one q 10 then we assign it IP address. Which IP address do we assign it? The first IP address that we used here. It was uh, the, the default gateway here. It was 1.1. .1, okay. We just say IP address to be 192.168.1.1. And we hit enter. Oops. Then subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And hit enter. Exit. Now let's um let's create for VLAN 20. We do the same. Um, now it's gig 00.20. And we hit enter. Then we bind it to VLAN 20. Encapsulation.1Q20. Okay. Then we assign it IP address. IP address that we assign it is the default gateway of VLAN 20. Okay. Alright. So it was 2.1. And we exit. 
And finally, we do for VLAN 30. Um, and gig 00, gig 00 dot 30 for VLAN 30, okay? Then we bind to VLAN 30, which is encapsulation dot 1Q 30. Then we assign the IP address, which, which was the default gateway of VLAN 30, it was 3.1. And we hit enter, we exit, and we do write, and we are done with the configuration. So when we go back here, number seven says that ensure that uh, IP address of the each interface is the default gateway of the each, each VLAN subnet. Is what we've done. So number eight says that we should try to ping. Remember, when I tried to ping from which which computer was it? This one. Um, I was trying to ping from my computer to another. Let me just go to that computer. Yes, it's this one. I was trying to ping this IP address before we implemented interval and routing so that uh, we can test if devices in different uh, VLANs can, can communicate. And so we've implemented inter interval and routing. So let's try again. Uh, try to ping the same and let's just give it some time it will ping it will ping let's just give it some time you see it's pinging it's ping so let's try to ping 1.5 also it will take some time but it will ping so guys we've uh, achieved uh how to implement interval and routing it's very very simple this is this is just a clear guide of uh, helping us know how to configure interval and routing using a router on a stick so thank you so much guys uh thank you so much guys when we meet next we're going to do interval and routing on a layer 3 switch so that you can mark number four as done so thank you so much guys please subscribe to my channel like this video share with friend and drop a comment below bye and see you again in the next week